Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use the green screen feature in FlexClip. It's also known as the chroma key feature. In this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to create a video, rather how to use the green screen feature. You can check this in-depth tutorial on how to create videos in FlexClip. So I'm logged into my FlexClip account and I'm in the main dashboard area. I already have created a demo project here. So I'll open it by clicking this edit button. And here we are in the FlexClip video editor. I'm going to show you different examples of green screen videos because the results will depend on the quality of the green screen video you use. Let me go to the media tab in the left side panel. So here I've got several green screen videos. You can use this upload files button to import your own green screen videos. So first I'll hover my mouse over this blue background image and I'll click this plus button to add it to the current scene in the timeline below. You can add any background image or video here. Next I'll hover my mouse over this green screen video and I'll click this button to add it as a layer to the same scene below. Next I'll use these handles to increase the size and reposition it so it covers the full screen, like so. Next I'll click on the chroma key button at the top and you'll see this left side panel with a color picker, preset colors and an intensity slider. I'll click on the color picker and the cursor will change. I will then place the cursor on the green screen video and then click on the green screen video. You'll see that it has automatically removed the green screen. However, you'll notice that there is still some green color on the edges of the character. So I'll use this intensity slider to adjust it like so. I'll use this full screen button at the top to see how it looks like. And I can then click this play button to preview the video. I'll use the escape button on my keyboard to close the full screen window. Now let me click this plus button in the timeline below to add a new scene to show you my next example. Again, I'll add this blue background to the new scene. And this time I'll add this green screen video to the scene as a new layer. And then I'll adjust it like I showed you earlier so it covers the full screen. I'll click this chroma key button at the top. I'll click on the color picker and then place my cursor onto the green screen video. And as you can see, it's removed the green screen. I'll click on this full screen preview button. And as you can see, there is still some green color on the edges, including the whiskers. I'll use the escape button on my keyboard to close the preview. And then I'll use the intensity slider to adjust it like so. Now if I click the full screen button again, you'll notice that it has done a good job, but you'll also notice that the whiskers are no longer there. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do with that. I'll use the escape button on my keyboard to close the preview. I'll click on this plus button in the timeline below to add a new scene to show you another example. Again, I'll add this blue background to the new scene. And this time I'll add this green screen video to the scene as a new layer. And then again, adjust it as I showed you earlier. You'll notice that this green screen video has different shades of green. And it can be problematic as I'll show you in a moment. I'll click on the chroma key button at the top. And then I'll click on the color picker and place my cursor onto the green screen video, like so. As you can see, it's not removed much of the green screen. So I'll use the intensity slider and adjust it. Now if I click the full screen button at the top again, you'll notice that it has not done a very good job. There is still green on the edges and part of the shoe is also gone. This is not due to the green screen feature in FlexClip, but rather the quality of the green screen video itself. 
so it really depends on the green screen video you use. But hopefully these examples were helpful. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.